Oh. <laughs> Ooh wee! What's going on, folk? What up? What up? Yeah, you what get up? It again. ITC podcast, baby. This is episode thirty nine. Mm-hmm. Uh, got the homie Pinson in the building. And little man, oh look at the young. Oh, oh he's out of there. Oh, we about to put him to sleep. <laughs> he said, "Man, y'all niggas about to put me to sleep." <laughs> <laughs> welcome oh, to God. welcome to fatherhood, Pinson. How how is it? Uh, mm, how is it, man? It's amazing, man. It's challenging, you know, because you, you're talking about, you know, it's you and another person taking care of one kid and you got mm-hmm. you, you guys have different ways of doing things and it's just trying to come together and raise them right, man. Yeah. Feel yeah. that, bro. So been happy, been Damn. Everybody in the pod got a child except me. That's crazy. You got a couple I of them out there, bro. I ain't baby. got no kids, got bro. It's coming, bro. baby. The only kid I got is Blondie. Come here, Blondie. Come here. Come here. Oh, Come Blondie here. made it there? Yeah, yeah. I ain't tell y'all. So, apparently, yesterday. So, uh, Ross got the new crib for the people that yeah. don't know. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for all the uh, generous love and support on social media. But, Solid hand claps. <laughs> so, apparently, um, I dropped Blondie off at my uh, grandma's house. And she just went in my room the entire day and stayed in my bed the entire day because I wasn't there. <laughs> She was just there. Didn't eat. Didn't go to the restroom. Nothing. Just stayed in my bed the entire Uh-oh. day. I was like, damn, man. I got to come get her. So I picked her up or whatever. So she's going to be here for the rest of the week. Oh. And now she good. Sure, sure. So whose good. dog is it? That's a wonderful story there. It's, uh, I mean, technically. It's, it's their dogs. Mom's. <laughs> it's my mom's no, dog. not there. Because he lives on his own now. So whose dog is it? I don't know. We co-parenting over here. We're gonna figure it out. You there you know? go. Right. You see, just Uh-oh. like I, just how you know parents that separate do. You gotta you know one day you, <laughs> weekend he gonna have Blondie. Yeah. The other weekend his mom gonna have Blondie. <laughs> we co-parenting right now. So Ross gonna be the fun parent though. <laughs> or the careless. Which one are you, Ross? Are you the fun one or are you the, the disciplinarian? I'm the fun one. But come on, you can stay up all night. Yeah, yeah. You can get all the treats you want. Here, have at it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at hey, that, man. ladies and gentlemen. Her birthday was this month. It was actually like I want to say a couple. No, it was like last week. Last week, she's like fourteen years old now. So oh, in human God. years, she's like eighty-eight. Yeah, it's old. She's old in human years. Yeah, but she she's still kicking. So that's all that matters, man. Nah, man. That's, that's dope, man. It's peace, prosperity to everybody that everybody got. <laughs> what everybody got going on, it's always good to hear. Uh, my mm-hmm. black brothers and sisters doing good. Corona? <clears throat> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, corona. Okay, trying to make sure. You know, we got a lot of cases out here in Texas. No, nah, we do. It's ain't hey, over a million. Yeah, let's talk about the government yeah. not wanting to close Texas again. Yeah, I just seen that where he said we're it's not closing cool. it down no matter how much the rise, how much things are rising. Damn, uh, it's all about that. It's yeah, not the government. Man. It's not the government, bro. It's the people. Like if you know yeah. you got a potential of getting sick of going to the club with no mask on, to stay your ass at home or go. But to you, a- but people think you gotta understand. People are in, in first of all, people in Texas are not really rational. So when you're you're telling them like, hey, just put a mask on, that's not enough because you already know people <laughs> not wearing masks. You got the you got the the Trump people. You ain't wearing no mask. I ain't never did nothing to me. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> you can't <show> it. <laughs> they don't want to. You know, it just makes it hard. I've seen that so many times, man. To not forget. <laughs> <laughs> you stupid. You're so stupid. We haven't, we haven't we haven't forgot Officer Pencil. We know you see a lot, man. We know you you kind of uh, you know you experience a lot. You gotta kind of deal and mentally uh, be stable for all kind of situations, man. Like oh yeah, especially man, election. Oh my god, we well, he said, go. oh my god. <laughs> That's how you know. Oh you crazy, my god. dog. Like so. Ooh, so let me where I, where do I start? So you know I've been working what they call it, EJ's extra jobs. Mm-hmm. I've been working those. I'm working a lot of those. Um, I actually worked at Toyota Center, NRG. Mm-hmm. Worked at a few spots here and there, and uh, you know, we, we dealt with we dealt with people trying to intimidate people while they were voting. But we kept oh, wow. it. Down. We didn't have yeah. We I don't think we only had like a couple of incidents, but 
you know, we kept it down the whole time. You know, we were just trying to make sure everybody was able to vote in peace because okay. you got people that will taunt, you know, they'll wait outside for you and they'll walk in there with the cameras up. Yeah. That's pretty so, bold, bro. Like, just and it didn't out. matter because they still fucking lost. <laughs> Yeah, like what, what do you what do you do at that moment? Bro? Like, you do all this shit and you still lose, dude. It's you be surprised, bro. Like, be a sore loser. I guess that's. We yeah. are the champions. Well, I mean, I guess that kind of takes us to the next point of Trump not wanting to um, accept. <laughs> that's it. That's all you can do. Here we go. <laughs> um, you don't want to take the. Huh? It's to the point to where he had them recounting votes, and I believe now that they're <laughs> they're charging him to recount votes in these. Counties. Oh, for real? Yeah. Damn. Um, <laughs> yeah. So apparently, I mean, you know, they take money, manpower, yeah. and all that to recount. Um, who paying for that? So a nigga just finished recount. Whoo, that was crazy. Hey man, he <laughs> wants to recount them again. Yeah, no, it's it's a, it's a few million depending on the counties, I believe. So um, all right, yeah. one. Two, <laughs> three. <laughs> hey, but that's that's why he been like kind of dropping them in some states mm-hmm. uh, so far because it's like it's, it's just too. It doesn't even make sense. Shoot, so, if, they, if they pay me, I'll recount them. Just cut the check. Oh. Yeah, they got to recount the same number you just had. <laughs> right. They got to be a hell of a check. Gonna... Right. Shoot. Recount the same number you literally just came up with, sir. You still lost. That no, that can't be right. They can't. That, be, no. that no. Never. Actually, you lost by five thousand more. <laughs> we forgot you know, those other ones in the back. We was we so, was trying to we spare you. More. We tried to spare you, cuz. <laughs> Boy, it's just five five hundred thousand more sitting in the back. We know the most. We know. If I see my number, well, since you want to get funky, <laughs> bro. You, if I see somebody like Biden with like damn near hundred more votes than me, why would I want to keep counting? Like it's gonna get worse. <laughs> it's gonna be. Yeah. It's gonna probably be like a huh? Uh, what you doing? <laughs> yeah, what you what you say? I'm sorry, bro. I got distracted. Nah, uh, yeah. it's, just, it's to the point to where it's just like, man, just give it up. I mean, because all you do is really put it back. take your ill gracefully. You making it look. You making it look bad. Like, like you making yourself look bad. That's awful, man. Do better. And it's it was a savage, <laughs> savage ass president talking that trash, and now you exactly. lose, and now you're just looking real weak in these streets. Out there playing golf, sad. <laughs> Come on, bro. Just, just take the L, dog. It's okay. It's okay, man. You, he was the president he, for four years. You good? Now go yeah, he home. Was, he wasn't the best. The best option. I mean, I've seen you know Republican Party have way better candidates than that, man. Mm. So for them to have to them to, to run, I guess the reason why they ran behind him is because you got like I said, you got one demographic of people, a uh, group of people that feel like. They're not being heard, and they want certain things back. So, hey, if you mm-hmm. can, if they rally around you, like for instance, I was telling my wife, I was like, if us black people, if we were to run behind Trump, he would probably would have got a lot more than what we wanted if we were the majority of his vote. Which mm-hmm. might sound kind of crazy, but to me, I think it's no, nah, we would have been his favorite. Yeah, like we he would, we would have mm-hmm. been his choice. Yeah, but I think it's it's just time for us to um, learn how to put a little. Fire on ass on whoever, yeah, man. whoever's in office. Like no matter who, we need to start holding them accountable uh, mm-hmm. for making things happen for our people. You know, mm-hmm. um, I honest to God wish something would happen with student loans. Like I don't. I well, look, don't if you look at the plan, if you look at all the plans, I mean, I don't, I don't know if y'all already talked about Ice Cube. His, his yeah, mm-hmm. we we, we kind of discussed that. Yeah, like you know, people a lot of people are still upset. I'm like, well, man, this guy, he's doing what some of our leaders should have done and, and let's go to both sides mm-hmm. and, and deal with that bipartisan issue instead of just, you know, oh, we're just going to put all of our eggs in, in the Democrats basket or. Yeah, whatever. that's what I said. But yeah. you know what? I don't think they as bad as him as they are like Lil Wayne. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> then you lose it, girl. Yeah. Now you're going, now you're facing up to 10 years in prison. Nah, bro. It's funny because 50 Cent childish, <laughs> bro. That nigga's like, nah, Wayne, go ahead and uh, get with Trump and them, man. Uh, <laughs> He should probably pardon you on that, man. Let him go ahead and look out for you. I know, right? Fifty hurried up when they when they I guess somebody like pulled him to the side and he was like, Oh, I don't got nothing to do with that. I say, Well, I thought you was gonna go talk to him. But I guess when <laughs> they tried to pay him, they tried to pay him a million under the table, yeah. he wouldn't accept it. So Yeah, I mean shit. I mean, again, everybody gonna vote for who they feel like 
It's going to make their situation better. Yeah. That's you know, really what it is. But regardless, I shouldn't I shouldn't be mad at you for who you voted for. I shouldn't hate mm-hmm. you as a person. I shouldn't want to fight you. Mm-hmm. Again, some people some people do bring up like, well, if you're voting for a racist, bigot, blah, 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 blah. I mean, I can't associate with you. But mm-hmm. at the end of the day, a lot of these white people racist. So we can't really use that racist <laughs> card, you know, on just one person. You know what I'm saying? And especially when you don't even have like a true like, oh, this person is racing because. And a lot of mm-hmm. people just say that because of what they heard. But. Oh man, this oh my god! Like mm-hmm. if you gotta think about it, man. You know, on both sides you have white people, so you can't really say. Yeah, you, you can't. can't. Yeah, it's like we all just you know we on we all have different opposing sides, and we just have to learn how to respect each side and take what we need from each side and put it together. Versus, oh, you're on that side, you're racist. Like that's people that say, hey man, the Democrats are racist. I mean, mm-hmm. history, but I mean, I'm not gonna sit there and just completely tune them out. I mean, hey, we have a better person on this side or on, or on that side. I want to go with whoever's the best candidate. Yeah, we need back. to bring class back to the White House. And- yes, because we had to win Obama. I mean, he, he, like I said, I don't, I didn't agree with a lot of his policies, I'm sure. Me either. Yeah, but, but he was a he was a class act, man. Like, he's... Class. Yeah. Facts, he's... Facts, he's facts. And, I, and it's funny, because if you really think about it, and I know you might not may agree on this part, but I think that Trump is a representation of America. Like, he's mm-hmm. really who we are. And when he goes to different places, mm-hmm. that's what they see. Mm-hmm. And it's like, we're upset. But I'm like, this he's a reflection of what our, what we already do. How a lot of people think, how a lot of people feel, yeah. how mm-hmm. egotistical, how self-centered. <clears throat> um, this is me. This is my place. Me, me, mm-hmm. me. I lived. You should, too. Like, it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's a lot of people just got a real good look in the mirror of how we like mm-hmm. you said, how we are as people. And um, I just feel like a lot of black people, we we quick to tear down our own. You know, we quick to... I just think we need to shut up opinionating <laughs> a lot of... Like, we just got to really kind of get in on ourselves, man. Like, Work on the we got to start focusing on, on ourselves, figuring out what our agenda is going to be and push something out based off that agenda. Like you were saying about the Ice Cube and we brought up. Mm-hmm. Like, the fact that he brought that, presented that to both parties... Nobody else, all the people that was talking shit about him, instead of them doing the same thing, they wanted to talk shit about him mm-hmm. just talking to him, period. And I'm just like, well, damn. At least he tried. He's kind of <laughs> right about we need to have a black, yeah. so, such and such, such. It didn't say black people. Like, all this <laughs> um, <laughs> multicultural brown. He's yeah, uh, like, and, and he was, like he was saying, with the, when, they, when they say minorities, and this is nothing to my, my, my brothers and sisters of every color, no matter who you are. I think when they say minorities, they sometimes we end up in the we end up in the 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 back seat because yeah. we're we're grouped into that minority group. We're never like singled out like, hey, well, let's do something for them for once, or you know, let's do for, something for this group. My thing is, everybody of course should be taken care of, but if you want to do us right, then single us out. Yeah, instead of putting yeah. us in the group and trying to package it like that, I don't like that. Like, just do it. If you're gonna help us out, help us out. <laughs> That's true, because man. honestly, the truth be told, even in minorities, we're still a minority. Mm-hmm. Right. So right. Yeah. You, know, you have like the Asian community, the Mexican community, and like I said, like I've served with all race, all nationalities, all creed and sexual orientation. Mm-hmm. So I have no recourse to anyone. However, I've been black my whole life. So mm-hmm. I have to go with that. You know what I mean? And right. I feel like there are not things that are um, specifically geared towards us it's like well we're gonna do this for the color folk or the other get in where you fit in and if you miss out listen we we, we did a b and c for y'all you know so i don't understand what are you complaining about because we did this and it's like no you did it for mm-hmm. all minorities like everybody we else taken care of by ourselves like when you went to africa and you enslaved us you mm-hmm. didn't say, "Hey, we were just go- we're, no, we're just gonna get th- this this tribe." No, you got all t- all tribes. Mm-hmm. So we, we are even we are singled out as a minority, even though we are minority. You know what I mean? And all minority folks. So That's facts. I mean, but you know, a lot of black people got to. I just, you know, it's it's like a constant preach, but it's like when you see the shit going on now, man. It's just we can't do nothing but blame ourselves. Like you know, like. 
just just taking point like all the killings going on. You know, mm-hmm. why aren't we as vocal? Or why aren't many people as vocal as they should be about all the death we're seeing just within our mm-hmm. hip hop community, which is a community we heavily populate. You, you know, know it's mm-hmm. majorly yeah. populate. And it's like I don't get the same energy that we would have gotten if a white cop or something like that would have killed one of us or something like that. I just feel like we need to, that's, that's still life. It doesn't matter who takes it. Like, it's, you know what? Why you saying that, you know, a lot of people will say, Oh, you're uncle Tom. Cause you, you know, but no like, problem. look, dude, and they to. said, that, they said, man, <laughs> and it, it was funny cause I was listening to Jay Prince, man. He was saying like a lot of times, you know, in, in this, this game, people, <laughs> he says, if you keep camp, camp campaigning, you're going to get elected. Get elected. Yep. And people, a lot of people do that in the rap game, you know, and just in the streets. They always campaigning to do something or they trying to, yeah, I'm trying to get this and that. But you, once you get it, once you ask for it, don't be surprised if you get what you've been asking for. Like when you True. people talking about, I'm going to get killed and you know, I'm going to die like this, I'm going to die a soldier and all that. Well, hey, when you do die as a soldier, you know, people should be surprised. Soldier. And yeah, but, you know, that's, but the thing yeah. is, we should we should really be a part of like changing like the energy in music you know what i'm saying because mm-hmm. I, I feel like that's real like the energy you putting out there man is real so if you putting out like oh i'm smashing 10 is you know i'm getting money nigga ain't gonna with me you, you you beefing with nobody you know what i'm saying then it's like that energy you're speaking that into existence <laughs> and then yeah, now ops and all that stuff yeah you really don't have no <laughs> Opposes like nobody <laughs> on the you other side. with the sky. That's wrong. Yeah. Why, why you trying to take my train? Nigga, you out here talking about us. Yeah, you, bro. You, so. you, <laughs> you, you get mad when you come to use it and your chain gets snatched. And then that put, energy you, reciprocates to niggas that ain't gangster. Yeah, and you, put you put yourself. Yeah. You do, bro. The, street, the streets is hungry, bro. Like, you think you're going to go somewhere yeah. and and I'm gonna say all this on record, like when Takashi said all what he said in LAX, and he met up with the Houston boys in the airport. Hey man, it was it was on. So you gotta think like just because you say all this stuff on record, don't mean you can't get touched. Mm-hmm. You know, you can be anyone. So I you just, gotta be careful what you say. We about to, and we just gotta learn how to change the narrative, man. I just want our people to understand. I've been hearing this a lot, and I just wanted to add that to our uh, podcast is that it's okay to try to get older. <laughs> like there's yes. nothing wrong with living. Like damn, why, bro, we get old. Like it's it's, it's okay to to mm-hmm. settle down. It's okay to you know be exclusive. It's okay to you know what I'm saying work on goals in the in the background instead of letting the whole world know until you actually accomplish. It's it's okay for those Gosh. things. Like we don't gotta blast everything. We don't gotta rush. It's like we rushing to get to get nowhere. And like that's what Jay, what Jay was trying to Jay Z was trying to say, man. Like even back when they were doing the money phone thing, he was like, it's he was basically saying he wasn't saying it's not cool to make money, but you don't got to flash everything. You don't have to be flashy because yeah. that's nothing. You know, you say uh, you you got a hundred thousand ain't shit, man. I got hundred million because I invested that hundred thousand into a business. I mean, we nah, need that's to teach, a flex. <laughs> yeah, we need to we need to teach financial literacy. You you illiterate, bro, when it comes to finances. Yeah, or you they find out ready. you find out yeah. when your credit a, a thirty. <laughs> 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 but no, for real, these dudes be having like three hundred thousand in their pocket, and their credit score, like you said, be on thirty. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like you trying to figure out why you can't get certain things. Nah, they, they got, what, what they say, I buy a cash, nigga, because you got to, you can't find. <laughs> oh my god, that's like, so this, funny. This, <laughs> like, stop trying to flex. You have no choice. You know what I'm saying? Because think about this about. It's about liquid, bro. Liquid uh, assets, you know, not about what you got on you. <laughs> we got we got to learn how to play the game, bro. Like I get it, like because I'm one of the people <laughs> that don't like credit. I, I got from my grandmother, like you know, money. She really felt like money just had like a lot of evilness around it, and she like I only get money yeah. to pr- provide and protect and provide, you know, provide for my family. And so mm-hmm. I kind of took that from her early on. But it's like at the same time, you know, uh, we got to learn to play the game. Mm-hmm. You know, we it's it's this is literally like fucking monopoly, bro. Like just in real life. When it out. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so you just gotta learn how to play the game. Credit is it, the concept to me is ass, but the fact that your credit can be worth six figures if it's a perfect score, 
just on your bar- borrowing power and people that never really use their own money. They use other people's money. They use other resources to then make money that then becomes lucrative for them. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It's like, it's like you got to figure the game out. And When it comes to like this whole money game and financial literacy, we are so behind the ball. Like we're so Very. behind the money curve. But I, I, I can say like with complete confidence that it's changing. It's slow, yeah. but it's changing because I'm seeing more people start businesses. I'm seeing, no, not people, more black people start businesses. Mm-hmm. More people start being concerned about their credit versus 10 years ago, people who were our age now, we didn't even hear about that from them. Yeah. It was all about like, you know, get to college, get out of college, get a job. Mm-hmm. Like that's what it was. It, it's not, it wasn't about um, what are you doing? What are you doing with your, with your savings? You know, do you have any, do you have an IRA Roth account? Like, are you, what are you doing with your money? Like, what are you doing? You know, nice. with the extra money that you have, yeah, you save them, but what are you doing with it? You know? So now I'm starting to see a lot of black people and, and honestly, people that are younger than me, you know, be concerned about their future um, financially. Mm-hmm. Like it's, it's not even, it's not enough just to come out with a, a bachelor's degree anymore. It's not yeah. enough. It's not uh, enough to have a corporate job. It's not enough. It's like not enough now, for the man to be the only one to work no more. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, you gotta, mm-hmm. And that's just that, bro. Like, we keep, once again, we keep ditching the jobs that matter. You know, like the HVAC jobs, these electrician jobs. You know, think about it. You open up your own company and you get a contract with a, like I say, you get a big building and you, you get a contract with them. You got you a nice little staff. Mm-hmm. That's money for life, bro. If you keep it. That's you true. You be making a hundred, two hundred dollars an hour to work on somebody's electricity for the rest of your life. X. I mean, but you know what? I, look, Malisha was right. Like you know, I, I just feel like it, it is a slow ball, but it, it's it's a, it's a moving ball, you know. But I feel like that's why it's our responsibility to keep on uh, putting information we know. Stop holding it back. I hate niggas that get information, bro, and they just want to... Yeah, bro. <laughs> you got to give me for this type of information. Mm-hmm. Yeah, get, buy my book. Just buy a book. Buy the book. <laughs> and I get it, but it's like, come on, man. Like, we really in the pro- we really in a time where we can change yeah. our whole way of thinking for the next generation. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And uh, it's like right there. Like, it's all in the information, bro. You know, you don't got to give nobody no money. Just teach them how to make it. Like, teach them how to fish. Mm-hmm, you know, nice. just, yeah, don't, you don't got to give anything away. It don't cost you much. Mm-mm. Yeah, and mm-hmm. it's, it's all about awareness, too, man. Like, just, like you said, man, <laughs> uh, the major vac jobs, like, people don't even be knowing about that until they get in a situation and it's like, damn, nah, I got to find something. You got convicted felons, bro. They have HVAC certification. They got a certification to, to use what they call it, those uh, forklifts and all that stuff. You know, I got an uncle that just got out of prison. He's doing that right now. You know, it's no it's no excuse, man. No excuse. I didn't grow up with them. card? Come on, man. I didn't, we didn't grow up with them excuses. I know we didn't. Our, this mm-hmm. group on the phone, we didn't have no excuses, man. Mm-hmm. You better like, get it, man. Yeah. <laughs> it's like when you come from a struggle, bro, <laughs> when you have, like, hardworking <laughs> parents, and you yeah. see them busting their ass, you you be like, man, it's it just like in your DNA to go out it's there. It's a whole different feeling. Yeah, it's yeah. like just to see them. Yo, your whole mindset is just it's molded off of that. Seeing your yeah, I didn't like it. when I was going right here, no talks about the man. This I mean, I heard it on TV, but I didn't see that in person. Like, oh, the man is holding me back. Come on, man, really? <laughs> You just gotta do what you gotta do, man. Take care of your business. That's that's really it. Little man agree. <laughs> just gotta take care of your business. So that's that's really what it come down to, man. So dang. this this is um that that's what I be talking about. Like that that's powerful. It's it's powerful in building, you know what I'm saying? It's power in powering um encouraging people because shit, it's a lot of people mm-hmm. that, that just need that push, but you never know who you um mm-hmm. next to that just need that little push to kind of take that chance, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Take that because again, man, college isn't for everybody, and mm-hmm. as much as people as much as college was like 
like Drill thrown at it, bro. I mean, nigga, it was just like, but it's like, but then you go to college and you getting into a career field that doesn't even make enough or don't even start you or your median won't even be enough to make a good living to do things you want to. And you're like, well, damn shit. I, I played the game the right way. What happened? You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's me. Now you got these thick ass student loans that ain't getting slim, that ain't losing weight. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Them hoes getting fatter and fatter with more interest. <laughs> every, every year, bro. <laughs> like, I'm bro. talking about. <laughs> That's exactly I mean, what you're doing. Thing, bro. I was just getting, I was going to go to law school, man. I mean, Ooh, they would have. Buddy. I, bro, and I had, I had like, I never told the story, but I had like these corporate lawyers, man, when I was in the internship program. And they were like, hey, man, we'll, we'll take care of you, man. You just do what you're supposed to do in school. Now, I was going to go to South Texas Law, and I was going to do my thing, but I realized that's, <clears throat> that's not what I really wanted to do. And, you know, I could kick myself about it, but I'm kind of glad I didn't do it because I would have been stuck with the other half of the those student loans. Bro, mm. dude. Mm. No. That, I already know. That's, a already know. that's just like being a doctor and stuff. Like, sure. some of them niggas just... You don't know if you're going to get traced. <laughs> <laughs> don't know. No, some of them, some of them niggas, dollars. them niggas, know. doctors know that they'll never finish paying their student loan unless you just become one of them <laughs> Doctor Miami <laughs> type niggas. It's just <laughs> oh yeah, go do some cosmetic. Yeah, if you a cosmetic type, type <laughs> you'd be fine. But other than that, a lot of them niggas just know mm-hmm. I ain't never paying this shit off. But it's it's cool. I'm I the minimum up. until thirty years. Until- oh yeah, mm-hmm. until I pass on. Like that's it. But even though I'm doing a public service to oh, save cool. our lives, I I, I personally cool. feel like some people should just automatically get a slack. Or after so long, like why don't that shit fall off? Like <laughs> in seven years. <laughs> well, that's what they're trying to do. But I mean, even even if you take about take it away, that's taxpayers having to pay all that. So that's something you we gotta it. do. Something, man. Yeah, yeah I mean, you know, on, on, the, on the other side, it don't sound that bad for them to keep it on their record. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> if you make uh, over 400000 yeah. <laughs> I was like, dude, what you trying to do? For them niggas. You, you, money on home. you make how much? Yeah, oh, yeah. That's, you make over. You gonna yeah. pay that off? <laughs> look, look, all we taking is like a couple dollars, right? Or mm-hmm. just flatten the, I mean, flatten I mean, each flatten one down. Yeah, like he said, he's gonna do, I think, half or a certain percentage. I'm praying. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Me too. Hey, Those hey, the long niggas. I mean, I, this is one of the times where I feel like I can be in my bag because I don't have those issues. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you right. You don't. Military. But you know what? It's, it's, what one, of them it's one of them things that, <laughs> that ain't even like I, I would flex that because I honestly feel like if you served in the military, you shouldn't have to pay for you a goddamn have, thing. You, your life should, you should have like a car or a badge yeah. or, or a tattoo or something. Like yeah, everywhere you go, it's just free. It's just, oh, that'll be a... Uh, here you go. Oh, my bad. Would you like a to-go plate? You know, you can you can have the car. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a Range Rover? What color? Of my restaurant. <laughs> yeah, like if you didn't oh, serve it's yours. the country, man, you, the benefits should be way better than what it is. I I can agree. I mean, with that. yeah, I mean, it's not to good, not to put a damper on it. We got a, we got it pretty good, you know, especially here in Texas. I'm just saying, Texas y'all. Is one of the most. I mean, I'm just amazed. But I mean, but, it's well deserved. I mean, shit, you you put your life on the line. On the line, yeah. You know, that's that's. All right, guys. Enough about me. What's the next topic? Oh um, my! Yeah. This is this a general serious. this a general yeah, topic, it's, but it's not really all about you. But you, know, you happen to fit in the category. Like, how do you, how do you... <laughs> yeah, you just so happen to fit in that category. Yeah, you, know, you fit in that category. It's a generalized conversation, yeah. you know. But uh, I think I do. I do feel like our uh, people who serve for the country mm-hmm. should just it just should just be set. They shouldn't have yeah. to do anything. Like, because I know damn well if I would have served, oh nigga, <laughs> everybody named Mama. That car going everywhere, bro. I'm, yes, sir. Huh? Huh? Yeah. What? Huh? What? 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 Nigga, what? What you say? Huh? Armed, armed forces? What? <laughs> <laughs> Saved your life while you were sleeping? Huh? What? What? Nigga? <laughs> I was getting shot at while you was over there at the club. What? You say something? <laughs> well, nah, niggas was getting shot at the club too. Unfortunately, <laughs> <laughs> I'm the cool. They was, they was it's the same shit. <laughs> 
Yeah, it's different setting and Un- niggas, unfortunately, unfortunately, look, yeah. less less skills, untrained. Yeah, less <laughs> skills, untrained, and over bullshit. Yeah, definitely <laughs> over bullshit. You stepped on my shoes, blood. Oh, uh, yeah, oh. that's usually how it go over some dumb. Now I'm gonna die. You didn't search your country and everything. You know, it was always that <laughs> one nigga in the club that you knew was gonna start some shit. Like he ain't having no fun. He just in there mugging. He ain't with shades on. <laughs> yeah, just mugging. No! <laughs> like, He's standing this. on the wall. Like, what are you in this for, bro? Look at this, this with shades on. He ain't even got a drink in his hand. Nothing, bro. <laughs> Why you come? Hey, he standing like this. Yeah, he plexed up. I'm just waiting for some shit. ain't getting no roll ups. The whole board. Uh, who gonna roll that nigga up? <laughs> Nobody wants to. No roll ups. He okay. might shank you. <laughs> sitting in the back. I ain't asked for this. On. I don't even want to be Whoa. here, bro. Watch the hookah smoke, man. Watch the hookah smoke. What? Like, why the fuck you come here, bro? Stay your ass at home. Nobody put a gun in your head. They used to do that shit at the, the football games. And I'm like, why y'all? It's just it's unhappy just... ass people, bro, that just want to be around. <laughs> just want to mess up happy people's bro, lives. Just the... oh, hey, yeah. Nancy. Bro. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I remember... Y'all remember uh, going to the Labor Day Classic in the Astro Bowl? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I used to, bro. I'm like, that, that yeah, I never be. understood I that. That used to be like, these shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, dog. That that why. was the shit, bro. Like it, it was, it was like a big <laughs> ass party. That's yeah, why until it got shot up. <laughs> like, I feel like it's the ish when you younger, but when you actually got to deal with the people that are your age, it, yeah. it ain't. Still, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's like, bro, really. <laughs> It don't you even make sense. Huh? I was like, dang, really? You again? <laughs> I know. Any people you know, I'm like, dog, oh, sit your ass down, bro. You know what? It's it's cause our time. We we older now. Now we don't got time for that shit. We we own this shit. Back then we ain't really had nothing to, <laughs> nothing to do. So we yeah, unless you go to around. Carol's and <laughs> um, that's that's a no go. Yeah, that's a whole that's a no go. I ain't never been inside. I just heard I've about it. never. I've yeah. always been in the parking lot. I've never been actually inside. Not the parking lot. lot. I've only been. You to the one parking. of them niggas that got, that got fresh and just waited on the hose. Yeah. That's, that's all I did. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 everybody stop sitting there sweating and come out of there sweating. They all hot. You in there fresh? You out yeah. there? You know they get that they get that first burst of fresh air when they walk out. Yeah, that's you. You the burst. Yeah, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look, look, Shotty, right? Shotty, cool. Shotty, drunk. She drunk. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, bro. <laughs> she was like, I was dancing with her like that. Yeah. <laughs> that is the Terrible. funniest shit in the world when the club lights are about to come on. <laughs> And some people just start scattering, like mm-hmm. <laughs> that is the most. Oh my god! I haven't been in the club in so long. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know if shit's still the bro, same. What we have? Bro, what clothes did we have? I forgot, dog. They all gone anyway. Oh, oh pencil, so dog. Oh, oh no, man, no, no, no. pencil, bro, pencil. You saw our heat, bro. Damn. <laughs> I got I got spit up though cool, bro. She was she was ear hustling too hard. <laughs> oh, Pinson got a story at Club Heat, bro. Oh, we we'll talk about it one day, man. Oh, we got, we got oh, for here, another bro. day. I wish Kendrick was here, bro. When I tell you, I knew <coughs> that was one of the hardest. Like you know, when you on public and you like stumbling, like. <laughs> falling laughing like i'm talking oh, about damn. where like you laughing so hard your stomach is like hurting uh, you so much that you're trying to force yourself to stop laughing oh that's a good laugh that's a healthy laugh <laughs> that's a healthy laugh right there you laughing gonna, like that we're gonna, we're gonna have to talk about that one day bro oh, that, yeah. that was it pinson all it's always something that happened with pinson around i'll tell you <laughs> that that pb <laughs> Went out there as a damn girl walking. She was talking and then she just dropped. Hmm? No, that was fucking funny, dog. Yeah, bro. We had we had PV for the homecoming and um mm-hmm. uh we was trying to link up with 
whoever, but you know, Ross used to always forward our calls around. I time. never forward <laughs> y'all. <laughs> <laughs> He didn't want us to. Wow. He didn't want us to link up with the crew. So. Oh my God. He said I'm for the call. Whatever that was about. So. Wow. Um, <laughs> he know that's why he laughing. No, because that's not even true. It's all cool, right. Vincent. Sorry. Right. Oh um, my. We we grew from that. It's all right. So <laughs> we end up we end up linking with Pinson out there, and um, it was a, you know it's a bunch of drunk people around that time this is when it got real late and so everybody kind of mm-hmm. like just walking back to the dorms or whatever so um there was this one female she was walking down the street by herself and it was like <laughs> what was it like six seven of us standing outside we <laughs> was chopping it up before we left and i mean she just walking and then you know one of the home you know you see a female you know and <laughs> somebody always got to be the designated person to go and try to holler at them so one of the homies was about to go talk to her, but in the middle of him walking to her, as she's walking by herself, she just falls, like and oh, and and laid there. Oh, whoa! And so <laughs> the biggest <laughs> the biggest thing in question was, what do we do? Because if, yeah, we don't know what the fuck to do. That if way. six seven niggas go over there <laughs> around one girl who fell and they moving, I was like, I don't like them odds. I don't like how they look. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't like the I don't like yeah, the outcome. This before, yeah, this before like the 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 surge of the, of the social media, so people would. Yeah, bro. We would have got around. We would have got around. Like, oh, them seven niggas and that girl. <laughs> them seven <laughs> niggas and that girl. That's exactly how that story would have went. Exactly. Bro. Yeah. One of them was light skin. One of them was dark. <laughs> Charlie, bro. Was very very I could have sworn one was in the band. <laughs> I know him. <laughs> One would have been there, but he cut his phone off before they got there. <laughs> oh, stop, but now, nah, um, I, I, I am kind of happy we didn't grow up in that yeah, social man. media like now, because mm-hmm. we had so much fun. We'd have been. I don't know. A lot of people probably wouldn't have the corporate jobs. <laughs> they got yeah, now. I don't know. I don't know. It, hey, everything. That? Everything that's on the internet, if it gets on there, is a good chance. Somebody saw it, screenshotted it, recorded it, and it's somewhere. You may oh, not think it's there, but it's somewhere. It's floating. Oh, yeah. And it's not over the <laughs> rainbow, man. That hoe is there. Yeah, you have that, uh, what are those, those uh, them, uh, damn cards on your phone? Are you good? I think Ked got all his shit. Oh, the little uh, memory card or yeah, whatever? Memory card. Damn, nah. Yeah, um, I, I need to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's thinking like, damn, I got the. Yeah. <laughs> so who y'all going with on this Jeezy versus Gucci uh, versus battle? It's been highly debated past couple culture. days on social social media. Uh, who y'all who y'all picking? Who y'all got? Wait, who who, who would y'all would have had if Ti would have won? Yeah, Ti. Huh? Who would y'all who would y'all would have had if Ti would have won against Jeezy? Oh, I would have went with me personally. Yeah. I would have went with. Oh, yeah. I, I went with. Yeah, see, I got them. He got. He got them, bro. Yeah, he got them hits, bro. He got them, bro. It was I, funny. I, I was I, really I, hoping I, to see Ti and Fifty because niggas think Fifty would just wash him up, but I still not. Nah, Ti had hits, bro. That's the thing. Ti really had some hits, so I, I really was hoping. But Fifty wasn't trying to do it. Fifty was just being a troll about the whole situation. But I really do. People underestimate Ti's catalog, but. T.I. was holding it down from, like, I want to say maybe 03, 04. It's like, shit. Like, maybe 08. Like, he had constant hits, bro. If you play, uh, uh, what's that game, bro? PlayStation 2. Midnight Club. Uh, oh, yeah, dub edition Club. remix, whatever. <laughs> Dog. Yeah. That whole soundtrack was lit and you had nothing but like you had ti tracks on there and many fresh tracks on there bro i'm like bro this like he pretty much had i mean he was you know one of the big reasons that atlanta had just a surgeons it had you know of course you had the uh outcast and stuff like that but <clears throat> ti was pretty much holding it down bro so people sleep on his catalog but i do think uh if they did have that battle him and jeezy I still would have gave it to Ti. He was but, trap. He was trap music, man. He, yeah, he, he was. Je- trap but Jeezy had them anthems. So that's only no. Jeezy like- had uh-huh. Jeezy had some. So that's why it's like when it comes to this Gucci. And- I ain't gonna lie, bro. I think anything anything will lose to Soul Survivor. Hmm. 
Yes. Ah, uh, yeah. Anything yeah. loses. I don't. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I think I was in middle school too. Didn't even know yeah. what the hell I was talking about. I think. I think. I think Jeezy <laughs> will. Yeah. I think Jeezy <laughs> will get the edge, even though Gucci got some nice stuff. But I think. I think. But I think Jeezy will get the edge. Well, Jeezy answers. He got. He got. Uh, go get her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. My president um, is black. My Lambo yeah. is blue. <laughs> what? That's a and classic. Oh, I remember. I remember jamming the shit out of that boy. Yeah, was, bro, you had to. My president is black, but my 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 Lambo is because I ain't got one. But it got me got me thinking my about getting a Lambo. Blue. God, you got all the color hey, speaking right into there. existence, bro. Speaking into existence. That's how you do it. Yo, I yo, I ate blue. Big facts. Big facts. Oh. Big facts. Um. But I don't know, man. I, personally, I don't know. Um, who uh, this one is just for Atlanta, honestly. This for them to decide. <laughs> I'm just gonna appreciate the. the <coughs> I'm gonna have a night. Nice, you gonna have a good time for that. I hope That's nothing gonna... happens. No, I don't think anything gonna happen for. No, I'm just because I apparently you know I seen they said something about um, Gucci, kind of made a little troll about killing his homie or whatever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! So There's something I read. Oh my god! But they, I mean, they got a real like. I mean, they did. They do underlining did. beef. Yeah, well, they Gucci, do. I mean, Gucci did. Gucci did like call everybody up before he went to jail. Remember? So, oh yeah, I, right he didn't talk he, to yeah, Jeezy though. Yeah. I don't think he talked to Jeezy. Did he? Did he? Him, um, mm. But now nah, <laughs> I, I know they did have like an underlying beef. I don't know if it's still there now. Wait, what did Gucci do before he went to jail? He called basically he called all the people in the industry out for being fake. And he was, yeah. he was, didn't he say was, his Twitter got hacked or some shit? Yeah, yeah. that was him. Yeah. <laughs> that was definitely him. Bro. He, it he was on he was on all types of stuff too, man. <laughs> like, didn't he, he say uh Nicki Minaj gave him Yeah, yeah he was wilding, bro. I'll <laughs> never forget that was that was one of the most epic Twitter rants before <laughs> Ye was doing it. Yeah, that nigga said, before I go to jail, yeah, I'm exposing <laughs> You niggas, you ain't shit. You ain't shit. That nigga <laughs> emptied the clip. I'm a sloppy toppy. Oh no. He, yeah. emptied the, he emptied the clip, man. He emptied he... the clip and then hit the traditional. I got hacked, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I got hacked. Bro. Hey, when when all this fails, I got Before. hacked. <laughs> you leaking out personal information, DMs and stuff. I got hacked, bro. <laughs> That's hey, funny, bro. Good. So I don't know. I, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna give the edge to Jeezy, but I, I mean I like the versus stuff. I'm sure they'll probably continue doing this as this quarantine stuff is going on. Cause I'm sure they they definitely probably getting a bag off this as well. So. Hey. Oh my god, yeah, bro. I think they get like a minute, like cost about a million or something like that over uh because that's 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 definitely some ad revenue. People t- tend to watch them. And they get a lot mm-hmm. of good views, so. And then they yeah. gonna download their music. A lot yeah. of people who mm-hmm. go, like you know, they're gonna be tuned in who don't even know about you know yeah. all of their repertoire of music. Yeah. Like who is who you mean? Oh damn! I gotta go to check this out. That's funny how Versus just started yeah. off as just oh it was on some producer stuff. It was just producers going against each other, and then it turned into other stuff. I'm like, yo, that's in a couple months it went from just producers showing what. <laughs> Songs they produced to now is actually like a stage and stuff like that. Yes. Like wanna, they have it set up to, professionally. Like, I do want to go back go. to the. Uh, I want to see Yay against somebody. I want to see how that's gonna go. That's, that's gonna not even fair. It, who's not fair is Yay Wayne. Bro, the fact Drake. that the fact that the coldest the coldest story ever was that Yay produced for Alicia Keys. Bro, that was like cold, bro. Like mm. they just show how versatile he was, bro. Yay, yay is the legend, yeah, be, bro. It's, it's, it, outside be hard of his, to be yay. Outside of his range. Honestly, he yeah. is the most. I, he just, <laughs> he's crazy as hell, but. It's yay. He, that's all you can say. It's yay. That's all you can say. That's it. Oh, he's a <laughs> genius. He's like a musical genius. Like, and there's really nothing else that you can say about that. He's yay. That's, that's all. That's gonna be my response. That nigga gonna yay. be that nigga. He just he gonna I don't be even himself. And I'm gonna always listen to his music because it just all he always comes with the bangers with his crazy self. So. Yeah, bro, bro, you listen to a good Good Morning, mm-hmm. bro. 
Mm, he go from that like, to Capricia to to Tiana. I mean, <laughs> just this goes on, bro. Man to poopity scoop like that even went. <laughs> <laughs> that was all a troll too. That's the funny. <laughs> That was all a troll. That whole song was to troll Drake. How much how much time do you have on your hand to just really he trolled Drake uh, because he wanted that nigga to clear some shit and he just <laughs> trolled that nigga, bro. I was like, wow. So then this nigga starts sending this nigga personal text messages of purple emojis. And this nigga Ye don't know how to react. A purple emoji. I fear, I fear for my life. This nigga said he sent purple fear demon for emojis. His, he fear for These niggas life. stay down the street from each other. <laughs> That's what's sad. These niggas stay down the street from each other. He over here talking about if something happens to me, just know Aubrey did it. Just know Drake did it. This is the same guy that said, "Hold, oh, hold, oh, please don't, don't, don't send him to kill me." No. But it was, it was four p.m. in Calabasas when that happened. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this this sticky, bro. Yeah, it's funny, though. and then he still cleared the song for him anyway. So. Yeah, no choice. Mob, mob ties. <laughs> That's what it was. That's what it was. Then he called Jay Prince. He was like, "Yo, yeah. man, tell him to leave me alone." <laughs> I got a family. Then he'd be like, that's my son. <laughs> I got a family. Leave Damn. me alone. <laughs> I'm a good man. I think he said, I'm a good what man. Say, what did he say, bro? Speaking of James Prince, uh, y'all remember he made that, uh, what was that? That little that iconic, curtsy call? Yeah. That curtsy. He was like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That shit was so old school, bro. <laughs> I'm like, this he, was, he was like, it's a you, sugar bear. Oh, bro. Like, Jay I was like, how you put out Sugar Night name like that, bro? Sugar bear. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Who gonna say something? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's really what it come down to. Who gonna, what you gonna like, say? Was like when, when Diddy slapped Drake. Was it Drake? Yeah, he slapped Drake. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you don't put your hands on them, man. Don't do that. Please don't. All you self-promoters are janky. You're inspired by the Yankees. <laughs> I'm going in the booth. Now nah, it was 4 p.m. in Calabasas. All right. All right. That's fun. You start going off on the old school. Start hitting Diddy's lines. <laughs> I really wish I would have. he would have finished with Pusha T, man. I just... I just oh. wanted to hear that track, bro. That was, right, we we probably gonna get canceled now because we're talking too much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> talking way know. too much. <laughs> I just want to hear the track. We're gonna, bro. gonna get a season. This is little for real. Oh, I know you. I've seen you somewhere before, have you? <laughs> no, no, you didn't. Nah. Yeah. Nah. Oh, you know? they seen. Oh, they seen Ross in real life a few times. <laughs> they see Ross, <laughs> they used to see That's Ross nice all point. the time. Actually. <laughs> Hey, yeah, my, my, my son be at where you be at. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's my son. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, man, Take that I picture. Ain't, I ain't got oh, no oh, problems, oh. man. When, when, was, a nigga, when a nigga shooting you in the picture. <laughs> yeah, he was. <laughs> all right. Something I ain't got here. no problems, man. I'm hey, just, I was just doing a podcast over. with a couple of my homies and uh, you see, oh, niggas I, always I, adding other. It's you that nigga, bro. I'm, I'm doing not podcasts. by myself. There's a couple of my homies in the yeah, podcast. All I want is respect. <laughs> <laughs> we wasn't at the club with you. You was by yourself. You wasn't. Part of it, but <laughs> I was. I was. Hey, man. He recognized my face, man. I was, hey, hey, I ain't. I ain't know we was gonna talk about this on the podcast. They they kind of blindsided me, bro. But I'll. I'll we take it blindsided that. you. Wow. Nigga throwing us under the bus. <laughs> you hear it here first, people. Hey, man. That's why when I be seeing people say, like, dirty shit about him on uh, on the comments, bro, I be like, dog, that's stupid. They say that about everybody. You got to think how disrespectful this generation or just people are. Like, they, they make jokes about people who pass away. Mm-hmm. Like 6 uh, 9 he uh, made fun of, uh, you know, what's that nigga name that recently passed away? Uh, actually, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, from, uh, I think he was from Chicago. What's that nigga name, Come on, 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, six <laughs> nine was in uh um Lil Dirk's comments talking about damn, bro. I think one of his other family members passed away, and then uh, King Von passed away. He was like, damn, bro. Instead of doing music, you should probably strap up. Laughing emoji. Like you should probably yeah. start strapping up and save your family and friends. I'm like, bro. He should be like famous Dex and stop getting in trouble. He oh been in God. the he been in the house though, right? Apparently they said he been something. in the house. He been chilling. He no, he been like, chilling. He yeah, he was just saying like pretty much like I'm I just stay out the way. No, I'm talking about six Isn't nine. He witness protection? Six nine, okay. like I heard yeah. something about he couldn't have armed security around him no more or something. Mm-hmm. And so that's know. why it, it stopped him. They was like, you notice he stopped going to all these little places and all that. Um He got he got no fly zone in certain areas, man. He can't go out, he can't he can't come out here. You show the hell can't go out to LA like that. He went to LA. Yeah. <laughs> Mhm. Yeah. That, 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 that time like, he went to uh, 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 uh Nipsey's Memorial or, or oh yeah he did a video shoot or something. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, he must have did it when they went. I mean, I don't know. I know. I just know he can't come out here. He messed I just, up. That, that just that, that pisses me. Yeah. yeah. Never mind. Because <laughs> nah, what I was about to say. Come on, Doug. What just black people. Mostly? Black people put a lot of pressure on each other, bro. When other people do shit, it's like we be. We watch from a distance. And be, oh, yeah. Yeah, we nigga. We be letting him just, like, run them up, bro. We let a lot of other people make it. But, yeah, like, if it was us, bro, we've been on it, each other's ass. But because he's somebody that's not us, we just let him do what he want to do. Huh, 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 a little bit. Yeah. He, he pissed off about it. What you about to say, though? Oh, yeah. Oh, what? Uh oh, you got an attitude what? already. <laughs> he mad at me. Ross, you got baby fever? No, actually, no. Yeah, don't have it yet. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I am. Papa. Nope. I am G O O D. No, what did what did that kid Papa. say to him? Pop. Who? Which one? Which Papa? one? Ah, which one? I don't know which one. You know, Ross. <laughs> I ain't got no kids, man. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. No kids, no baby mamas. Ross, man. Ross, daddy daycare. I'm not daddy daycare. He pull I up in the Honda. Okay. Which nope. one was the one that came, like that asked for him, Papa? What he What he say? Papa. He know. He ain't he saying. <laughs> you know. Well, I'm talking, talking about him, man. I ain't <laughs> no recollection of none of these events. You come so I did not have sexual relations. <laughs> <laughs> I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. Like, damn, I'm, I'm, I'm downloading the wrong song on LimeWire. Let me go to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> you have 15 songs down there waiting to queue up. <laughs> you be like, I'll cast Miss Jackson. Frostbite? Like, uh, I did not have sexual relations. Was it fro- Frostbite or Frostwire? Frostwire. Frostwire. Nah, LimeWire. It Frostwire. Line, it was Lime Wire, Napster. Uh, was, Lime Wire got yeah. shut down, then it, it yeah, became Frost Wire. It was Frost something. It was Frost Wire. Yeah. Oh, Frost Wire. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was. Y'all the, remember uh, floppy disks? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I remember my sister having them. I never had to use one though. Yeah. Yeah, you never use them, Miss Sterling. What? <laughs> <laughs> I had floppy disks. <laughs> I had computers. <laughs> Yeah, every what time you, man, you never that's, that's fail like, me, Malisha. In what old, class? <laughs> the old Apple computers, bro. What class was you using a floppy disk? That's bad. If you, you see, yeah, I, I told you, you I, ain't, I ain't go to that Sterling, Malisha. That's elementary. That's <laughs> yeah. Sterling, we went to two different schools, bro. Even in elementary, we were using CD ROMs. Like, <laughs> yeah, so you using no, a floppy disk? Your school, school is behind, like well, we Malisha. We never used. I we knew never used was. floppy disk at our age, bro. That's like, like Jones. Shouldn't. That's like Jones. I did. So, I, we, I used them. Oh, well, again, we <laughs> Sterling went to the different schools. <laughs> what school did you go to? She went to Sterling. Oh, you God. went to Sterling too, nigga? She went to Martin. Yeah, I, went to I, I went to Baytown. Mm. Yeah, I, went to I heard that was a good school. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I want to hear this. Say that I love Pinson. Where you went? I went to Word. I went to the Damn. dub, bro. Sorry, sorry. He proud, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, you are saying it with your chest, bro. Damn, oh, I mean, hard, hard face. 
It's you cool. Know. Look nice now. Every time I pass by, I'm like, damn. All them hoes look nice now. We I'm did. Like, what the oh. hell? I don't know what I just said. Yates, Yates look nice. Yeah, Yates I know. The worst I was yeah. like, what? Nah, Sterling look nice. You know, you know what's funny? They always build Sterling and Madison the same exact way. I don't know did if y'all they, noticed. Did they do that again? They did it again. Wow. Sterling and Madison. Really? Design. Yes, if you ever go by Madison, you'll see. But now you got two jail houses in Houston. <laughs> they look nice on the outside. Mm-hmm. But they yeah, the outside looks like a jailhouse. What is Dolly now? Lawson or some shit? Yeah, it's Lawson now. I went over there. I was like, damn. They man, got man. rid of the got it's rid of Dolly. Bro, yeah. it was like a damn jailhouse for real, bro. It's nah, them, them red gates are still there. Gates. Yeah, they're still there though. Mm-hmm. They still they there. look like a prison. Yeah, they still there. But I it's never forget pulling Lawson. up to that shit for the first. It was a fight. My sixth grade, bro. the first day of school. The first day. Of school. It was a mess. Like, fighting a black fighting dude. about summer just all oh, got over. Bro, it was a no, y'all don't even bro. know each other. I I got intro, boy. I got introduced to the hood, nigga. When I tell bro. you, bro, middle school bro. was a shock. Bro, was Welcome so to my hood. You went to? This is the thing. I went to Bastion, which was right next to Wesley Square, but I didn't recognize how hood the area was when I was little. And everybody know Wesley Square. That's like mm-hmm. that motherfucker. So Boy, that is. But we was in elementary. So, you know, Welcome we was in exemplary school. And we was always, you know, doing real good. Uh, but I went to Dallin. It just seemed like my eyes got open. <laughs> like then it was like these niggas fighting for the first day. They threatening to throw us in the trash can on Friday. Yep. And, oh, no. <laughs> I, just, I wasn't here for it. But see, if you was in a band, you was good because the old heads would be like, don't like they told me, like, don't worry about nothing, man. We got you. You know what I'm saying? Just stay down. Hey, middle like school. Middle school, bro. Mm-hmm. Bro, we had it was a fight every That's trauma. Morning, yeah, y'all was way more ghetto than Thomas. So bro, w- w- dog, that one was like the worst school in Okay, Houston. floppy discs. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a floppy disk over being thrown in the trash on Friday. That's what, what we had this disk, bro. We made it. Uh, <laughs> we made it. We had this using we, the floppy disk. Windows ninety three. <laughs> bro, the only one yeah. I was even there. We had the so little like, airplane coming on. Ninety seven. I think no. I think we had ninety seven, ninety eight. Damn, son, where'd you find Damn, this old is. ass piece of tech? <laughs> God damn. Oh shit! Damn, bro. Where'd you find that? <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Hey, son, where'd you find that one? <laughs> it's, it's you know head. he still does that shit, right? Like he still actually. Does he? Mm-hmm. The guy that does the drop, From he Mystic? actually, he actually has like a. He's a DJ, so he actually still does the drop and all the other shit. <clears throat> like that shit's crazy, bro. That's like funny. I, to actually see the face of the nigga that I was listening to every mixtape. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Like, to see the face behind it. Oh, you done matched that. <laughs> that was a good impression. I, I, about to, I thought someone was playing. I was like, Damn. I'm like, we about to hit some heat or what? Right. This nigga, you can match with that, bro. And cut the check. Right. <laughs> my, my nigga, a new voiceover king over I here. Know, like, <laughs> I just need 15%, though. Oh, oh, this, nigga sound, this nigga sound like a... Uh, uh, bro, the, no, the, the check was on uh, first 48. Crazy. I'm this nigga he sound like the dude off of first forty eight. Uh, Malisha, we all gotta eat. You know, I got your five. <laughs> I got, I got your five percent. <laughs> <laughs> we all gotta eat. I got your we, all eat here. <laughs> we all eat. We all eat. Hey, bro, but we, we, we went off, bro. But what? Happened? So, what y'all think about Mo three and a uh, Booski situation, bro? Well, that we was a, yeah, that that's pretty. Apparently, I'm not sure how true it is, but. Apparently, you know, when TMZ said it, a lot of times they be getting their sources before the police do. But apparently, it was uh, that's scary. I don't know. Yeah, that is it, it is kind of weird. But apparently, it's scary when the police gotta go to TMZ. TMZ, and get yeah. The key. <laughs> but uh, apparently, he was set up by uh, some some lady set him up, somebody he knew, <coughs> and so he was he saw the person like chasing them down like he tried to get away end up i think crashing his vehicle and then he was on foot trying to flee and the dude was still chasing them down shot him killed him and it was just one of those type of things where it's like damn bro like that's you ever have to be really intent on killing someone if you are willing to chase them down a fucking freeway in broad to shoot day them. in broad bro you have that has to be your only sole mission bro Cause most people they'll give up 
after a while if they can't get you. But it's like, damn, like just so cold blooded. Like that's that shit was messed up. And then the fact that Boosie come comes down here or whatever comes to Dallas, and then he ends up like his uh, sprinter van ends up getting shot. I believe he got shot in the leg. We're not. I don't. I haven't heard any update. Yeah, I think, but I think he, me, was I heard. he was coming to pay his respects and yeah. And it's, it's like sick, bro. that's sad. I, I hope that isn't true. I hope that wasn't the case. He got set up, but it's not. It's one of those things. It's not a far fetched idea because yeah. you'd be surprised how many people just you pillow talk with and they end up trying to you know set you up on some shit. And it's, right. it's sad, bro. It's sad, man. We do that to our own people. It's like, yeah. yo, why? <laughs> Why? Things that we, I mean, that go even goes back to what I think Jay Prince was talking about. That he was just like a lot of times we we speak things into existence, man. You know, we talk mm-hmm. about how we're gonna end up. I think in his last few songs, he was talking about that, man. You know, of course, Lucy was trying to warn him. He warned everybody. He warned everybody that he he brought out that you know you need to move. You know, stay out, get away from your hometown. Because that's where you more likely, and that die. sucks, bro. That's that you a, gotta get away from your that, home. That's the thing we that's, don't talk about, bro. We we need to we need sad. to be. I feel like we should have been up in arms, like especially after not him, not Vaughn passing away that incident, then uh, Mo three, then Boosie getting shot, and then um, Benny <coughs> just got shot. Benny the butcher, oh bro. yeah, yeah, I he just got that. shot in the leg uh, coming out of Walmart. So it's like oh, niggas. Bro. Like we up in arms about the shit like we should be. And it's like, sad that you gotta have that you gotta have damn near security with you twenty four seven. Niggas like bro, you need to you need to watch how you moving. Why? Why? Like, I can't even go to Walmart I to can't put up, out bro. music and but go. You no, know, but you got a lot of but then you had a lot of rappers, bro, they were saying what is that like T I was saying, I don't need no security. Of we course. Like my thing is you you do need security, bro. Yo, you got your ass when you came out the H Town the first time. Allegedly. I don't everybody remember that him and Lil Flip had their little situation. Allegedly. Got his ass with. That's a uh, lot of stories around that. I've been a allegedly. lot of questions. <laughs> but no, I, I mean, just uh, I just got a lot of questions <laughs> of how he even was able to get yeah, this is, we'll talk about it. But allegedly. I mean allegedly, but you know some I mean, my thing is you know as a rapper, like and somebody else was saying, like, <clears throat> it's crazy that as a rapper, you it's the most one of the most dangerous sports that you can be in. The most dangerous, you know. It's this is a genre, bro. Like, we don't see country singers get shot. Thanks. You know what I'm mean? saying? Jolene. Jolene. Pow, pow, Jolene. <laughs> get his ass. Yeah, bro. It's, it's, it's just very unfortunate. Like, I'll tell you hard. Trying to tell you what, <laughs> and it's but we sad got, because we get to we see so we 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 got a first we got a front row view at all this shit. That's the saddest thing. Like we got a front gotta, row view. We, we just gotta, gotta do better, man. We gotta do better, bro. We can't sit here and say we uh we want better and then we don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Like that. If you've seen the Vaughn footage, you know that honestly could have been avoided. That whole situation could have been avoided. To the T, I get it. They had beef, like him and uh, the other person uh, that he was, you know, had Hello. beef with. So it was basically on some on site shit, but really it don't even have to be on on site shit a lot of times, bro. It don't. Like, well, that's the just, same shit that happened with Pac. <clears throat> Put yourself in a situation where you don't need to be in, especially with the, you know, and, and having an entourage sometimes, you know, they, the entourage don't really be caring. They don't sit there and be like, Hey man, don't get into that. You know, you work more than that. You know, no. well, apparently he just saw him when he was walking up into the club. He saw him, yeah. and before his manager or anybody else could say anything, it was he was <laughs> giving the beats. And then, of course, he didn't know there was other people in the car around him. So old dude came around, shot him up, and it's like it sucks because it's like that literally could have been avoided you know what i'm saying I, I wish we would handle our stuff if we got some issues with somebody i wish we could handle that shit better than oh well it's on site when i see you you feel me because a lot of times if it is on site when i see you somebody gonna have a weapon bro that's just how it goes somebody gonna yeah. have a weapon and somebody gonna end up getting shot or an innocent person end up getting shot and it's like i wish it, it didn't have to be that way I mean, that's just goes. I mean, I can speak. For, I can just speak. I can't speak for women in this situation, but for men, like, it's we have we have a big manhood issue, man. Like, you got guys that feel like there you go. That's so emotional. Like, you you can't take something that somebody says and just be like, all right, yeah. Like you said what you said. It's fine. Just don't touch. Like my whole thing was just don't touch me. You yeah. know, it's I'm not emotional to where like if you 
talking about my family and my mom. Ex, bro. Just come on, man. Just stop just, being. Don't put your hand on me or nobody in my family, bro. <laughs> don't be good, baby. Be straight, like nigga. You ain't got to worry about nothing. You can say what the fuck you want to from across the street, and that's that's it is what it is. But don't don't t- don't come over here putting your hands on me, or <laughs> you know, because it. Ugh. Now you're willing to accept your fate <laughs> at that yeah. moment. Don't don't come in my crib. A lot, these, a lot of these killings and stuff could, you know, would, would cease if we, like I said, we just talk and stop being emotional. Not it's good to it's good to. I, I'm not saying it's not good to show your emotions, but it's good to be in control of them. Mm-hmm. You know, I'll get our mental health check. Like a lot of niggas dealing with a lot of trauma that. You know, mm-hmm. they, they, need, they need to talk about, like, you seeing people get killed as a kid, again, it's not normal, like I said last week, and a couple right. of weeks ago, like, it's not normal for somehow how some of these people are raised, and they it just kind of turns you into an animal, and you become a product of your environment, it's, right. you surviving, and you get so used to surviving for so long, you know what I'm saying, it's like, you know, you just don't know how to get up out of that don't somebody needs to talk to you let you know like hey fam this isn't normal it's okay that you felt like this but this isn't a way of life you know you could be better you could you could be in a better situation you know what i'm saying and um i just feel like uh only thing we can do bro because you can't really you could change the world just by planting the seed and my seed personally is just spreading love um i'm working on myself nor i never say i'm perfect nowhere near it um, but I do accept who I am, my flaws. I love myself and I just want to spread love to other people. Um, because I feel like a lot of people don't love themselves and a lot of insecurities, it shows when you move around and you start to, especially when you get older, bro, you start to see the dumb shit you did as a kid and you just be like, man, I wasted time doing this because I, I had an issue with this. It's like, once you start to mature, bro, you can start moving different. And when you move different, the next young game, watch you. It be niggas that you on. It's always somebody watching you, bro. Don't don't think nobody watching how you move. It's always somebody watching you, bro, and they taking notes, whether they realize it or recognize it or not. They taking notes, and it's if you moving in a productive and well mannered way, that's gonna kind of tap into them, and then that's gonna tap into them, and it's gonna tap into the next person. It's gonna keep going around. We are gonna keep showing love. We keep um, giving. We keep we stop blasting negativity and making that the forefront of uh we stop making you know like the shade room shit like always drama doesn't always have to be the most important shit you know what i'm saying we can just actually start a post off with good morning you're great you're beautiful go out there go kill it you know what i'm saying like you some people need that Mm -hmm. instead of rumors i mean i know like it's cool to hear oh what's going on but yeah but yeah, I mean, it shouldn't always be that. It should be like, hey, let's hear something uplifting today. Or let's, you know, let's shout out this person or that person instead of just tearing mm-hmm. each other down every every day. That's what we're doing, man. We're constantly Bash. doing shit. We want, we want the other side to to see us a certain way. But it's like, well, we're not, I mean, that's not saying everybody's the same way, but the majority of us, we're not really producing out here. And then we want everybody else to produce for us. But you're not doing the work. Hey, big thing. Hand out. Hand. Oh, what, what, what could you? Mm-hmm. I need. I need. Yeah, like, me. Uh, no, we're not I give kidding. you. I give you all this. What happens? What happened right yeah. now? If all black people right now got just twenty five hundred, three thousand dollars a week right now, what, what happens? Yeah, yeah they talking about give a million. It could know. be that Dave Chappelle. Uh, that Dave Chappelle skit. <laughs> Reparation. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like that's that's actually a thing. Like, bro, what mm-hmm. happens? Think about that. Just y'all say, think what happens if a bunch of niggas just get three thousand dollars from now on every week? We screwed, bro. Because <laughs> what we gonna do? What we gonna do with it? The same we gonna blow. Like for instance, we all gotta beef over it. Trying to fight right somebody now. else. Everybody finna go get the new PS Five. Everybody finna get the new Xbox. <laughs> the economy is gonna crash, honestly. And it's gonna crash anyway, yeah. It's because it's it's just came out. It's we ain't building. On- we ain't building no wealth. <laughs> no, no generational. I mean, that's not saying we. I got to tell my wife all the time. You know, we make sure our bills and stuff pay first, and then whatever's left, you know, you know, put some aside, and then go have some fun. Don't you don't have to be frugal, but you need to be smart and put, leave something for the next generation. You know, you don't have to blow it all right away. It's like, mm-hmm. uh, I know this is off, but like Dr. Dre's wife trying to ask for two million dollars. What you need two million dollars for a month? What you gonna do? You're not going to use it to build a generational wealth. <laughs> you're trying to use it so you can spend it on yourself. 
I would and never understand that. No. Mm-hmm. I would on, never. I, I, personally, I feel like as, a month. I feel mm-hmm. like as a man, <laughs> I feel like as a man, if you've been married to somebody that long, take care of them, but don't. I'd like me personally, God forbid anything happens with my marriage, but I've, I've already had in my mind, like, I'm going to take care of you. Like, you yeah. say it. Like, you, you're my children's mom. Like, I can't. Mm-hmm. Act like we wasn't in a relationship for like no yeah. no minute, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna take care of you. Like it don't even got to get to that point, you know. I think a lot of people let it get to that court shit, and then you know sometimes y'all can yeah. if if it's two reasonable people, like you mm-hmm. gotta think. Not every situation is the same, but me personally, I would <clears throat> I would just take care of her off the strength. Just like, you good shit, whatever you want, you got it. I mean because I didn't have it before I got with you. So I feel like yeah, you probably helped her get you. She probably you helped you get shit, you. nigga. That, most niggas got to realize that, bro. Um, that's why Jeff Bezos wasn't hurting. He's like, okay, Jeff, no, he, 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 he go about forty. How many billion? Now nah, he a trillionaire. He, uh, he get your bill yourself. <laughs> it's, it's here if you need more. It's it's, it's here. <laughs> <laughs> it's here if you need more. You stupid. A female that was with you before you made it, nigga. They need they they need they need they justice. Like especially if they. Logical, <laughs> you stupid. But also, you gotta take in consideration the lifestyle that that individual has grown to live. Exactly. So, and so, of course, they accustomed to millions of dollars being thrown at them. And then it's like, oh well, I well I need a couple million because of the lifestyle I live. And it's like, eh, I get it, but no, you don't really need. <laughs> Two million. Yeah. It's just you used to getting Two more million. than that. You know what I'm saying? You used to getting. I'm not more good than. with contracts. Don't don't tell me I got to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, I think that's like, just I'm excessive like, as hell. Like, that's I'm what. Gonna, take care of you, man. It's gonna be. It's gonna be an amount that, you know, not saying that anybody, anyone wants to want to go through that, but let's say it's gonna be an amount that's that's reasonable. It makes it, sense. It, like, it okay, makes if sense. I'm a millionaire. If I'm a millionaire, you're gonna be a millionaire, but you're not gonna have no, no half a billion dollars off of me. No. You're not doing it. I'll make you a millionaire, though. I'll, I'll set you mm-hmm. up really nice. Well, yeah, I, shit, you want a business? Come on, I'll give you business. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll set you up. I'll set you up. But I ain't <laughs> let me, let me sign money. one of these businesses over to you and you turn that shit and flip it. Yeah. Um, there you go. She, now you good. good. But she wasn't in the studio with him grinding during the chronic but album. She wasn't you know? with me shooting in the gym. In the gym? Yeah, yeah oh. she wasn't shooting in the gym with him. So, All I mean, Kobe, once again. Man, I wish. Yeah, bro. Oh, yeah. Shit. Yeah, I'm just yeah. No contracts. No contracts, please. <laughs> keep yeah, you should have to. I mean, you should never have to put the courts involved with that. You, you better know, move your like, ass to Idaho or something and just settle down. <laughs> be humble. Sure. Get live out of on, LA. Live on the land. Yeah, live on the land. Be free. get out of LA. Talking about some old oh, the lifestyle. Nah, nigga, you, you get your ass out of LA. Yeah. Get your ass. Oh, go to Phoenix. Go old. Go next week. <laughs> <laughs> Go to Phoenix, good, eh? It's like I mean, it ain't about the lifestyle. I mean, it's just about making sure, you know, as a man, I'm I'm sure Dre will take care of him. As a man, he's gonna make sure she's she's straight. Hope so. He's Hope gonna we'll. make sure she. But, he um, gave us can pay for her lawyers. Like, come on, dude. Yeah. But um, you know what? This is a dope podcast, man. Yeah. Um, another cool. another great one. Another production. Another one. Uh, another banger. Episode thirty nine. Hey. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we we getting out, we getting our stripes. You know what I'm saying? A hundred, we gotta do something yeah. for a hundred. You know, hopefully the COVID over and we in person again. Hopefully. Oh yeah, that'd be dope. No man. Um, <laughs> niggas like I don't know, man. I think this is the life. whole argument. I know, right? The mask <laughs> life where we just wear a mask uh, and uh, could damn. it be? That's gonna be the new thing, bro. Just get ready. Look, Apparently. Oh, <laughs> apparently, uh, before we end it off, since we are talking about that, apparently they some studies have shown that mouthwash is has the potential to kill COVID. COVID. I think sales. at this point they just trying all sh- type of shits. <laughs> so sick. niggas, niggas is in the lab like Trump, let's try some Trump listerine. Inject themselves with bleach, okay? Yes, bro. Wait, what? Like Trump put the bleach. You in remember, Trump, remember that? When he when made Trump that. Was like, he quote unquote vaccine with bleach and light stars. <laughs> yeah, really, really so good. we can all be clean and free. Hey, it's, it's not working. Somebody said in the comment section, I ain't gonna lie to you, that brown that brown listerine probably kill it. Cause that was strong, bro. <laughs> nah, that bro. Man, that, that hey bro. Yeah, yeah, the, the antiseptic. Bro. Bro. 
That motherfucker there? Bro, I ain't going to lie to you. You can feel that's the that sales dollar. That's that grandma <laughs> shit, bro. It's, yeah, that's, that's grandma. That shit being grandma. Yeah, grandma. boy. I ain't going to lie to you. I ain't going to lie to you, bro. That, you that still ain't in your chest. It, it, matched, it matched your hoodie, Ross. <laughs> what's that, Mr. Pepper? What's that, Peppermint? Whatever that shit is in a, it's Doctor, in a clear bottle. Oh. Doctor something. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Boy. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. <laughs> You it get cure, that cough. It, oh shit! He got it. Give him some listerine. It cures some oh, other shit. Oh. It cures some other shit. Listerine you be gone tomorrow from the, Bro, from the and you gotta hold that shit probably like a minute, so you know that shit burning. Just hey, me. while we on it, I'm interested in um how people are doing managing right now when as far as the holiday season coming up and shopping yeah. and stuff. Like, I hope That's we cool. don't get another flux of like, oh, let's buy every fucking thing, you know. Um, I'm, I'm saying don't do, you know, be nice to, and be mindful. Like people, there's. I was just thinking about me. I was gonna go go in this Christmas. I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna do something for another family. I mean, I'm not trying to show out or nothing like that, but I'm. I really yeah, that's, think like, that's like dope, man. It's, that's it's gonna be a. It's gonna be a hard Christmas for some people, man. Mm-hmm. Facts. A really hard Christmas. That'll, yeah. that'll actually be dope, yeah. man. Hopefully, one day we can set up like some drives and some giveaways. Yeah. And- you know, to actually, well, since you guys are um, talking about that, this Let's year, talk about I'm doing it. blessing bags. Plug it. You I'm said what? Blessing. I'm doing blessing bags. So oh, each okay. bag is going to have like, you know, okay. snacks, toiletries and stuff like that for male and female. So it's male, male bags and female bags and giving them to the homeless downtown. So if you guys want to help. I'm down, man. I'm down. I'm serious. Ooh, look. Hit me up with the deets and I'm going to yeah. definitely uh, put in on that. You feel me? Facts. Because uh, I always yeah. give, like, every time I get little chances to give away. It's just one of the things. I, I, I personally don't <laughs> like talking about and recording no. myself giving. You know, like how do it. Of, like, like it. No, but I'm saying, you know how a lot of people be like, oh, no, it's 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 to show positivity, too, inside of all the negativity. But it's like, mm-hmm. just me personally. It's, like, it's, it's like so narcissistic to be like, why are you filming somebody who's down? Because that could easily be you. Like, how do you know if they yeah. want to be? They like, want to I be just seen. Think that's yeah. so. It's yeah, just it's not humane to me. It's not. I could never make myself do that. Like, record no. myself giving. You know, you have to catch me on the on your own on the slick somewhere. Hey, like, hey, Dub. Hey, Dub. Hey, Dub. Are you hungry? Dude. Are you hungry? <laughs> hey bro, I got all of these. Hey y'all, looking good. It's like from YouTube. Yeah, it's like what y'all awkward. Doing? That's that's mad awkward, bro. So it's so weird. The, hey, yeah, shout out to the people doing cringe watching videos of them giving. I be like, I scroll past I them. Nah, I like, YouTube, shit, on, they making money off of giving away their money. I think the only people I watch, <laughs> like person I do that do that now, but it's like totally not in that way. Is like, um, excuse me, Officer Norman. Um, yeah, out there, yeah. Little Rock. Oh, he, he's awesome, bro. Like, what he do with his community and um, community policing and stuff like that. That's that's something that I dream of doing. You know what I'm saying? Not even being a police officer, it's going mm-hmm. to people who don't really have that that person to come shine that light every day. Like, as soon as he pull up in his car, bro, it's just like people are just, oh my god, Officer Norman. You know, like that's 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 a blessing. You know what I'm saying? I was just talking about that, man. That's that's the reason why when I got in. When the community in. respects you and you are an authoritative figure, it's that's a powerful thing. Mm-hmm. That's a powerful thing because you don't even have to lay the hammer down because you've earned like you you. They have that mutual respect for you. That relationship. And that's the problem with the law enforcement and citizens in general: the lack mm-hmm. of respect. So yeah. This side, a big this side don't know what that side know, and they, they exactly. This in general, man, because you know a lot of like I had a guy pull up on me one day. I was getting some out of the store. Dude pulled on me, pulled up on me, asked me some questions about a case, and mm-hmm. you know I answered all his questions. And he was like, "Dang!" Like you know, he wasn't expecting me to do that because normally we don't take the time. I'm not saying that all officers do. Get out of here, nigga! Mm-hmm. <laughs> God damn! Face your time. Face your we twenty-five to life. <laughs> yeah, it's like officers down. down to jail. Officers yeah, down. I was, He's resisting. He's I haven't resisting. even touched you. <laughs> Wait, when, I was what? Talking, when I was talking to him, I mean, he was he was like, damn, because, you know, he didn't think about it. Like, I was just thinking to myself, I was like, man, if, if these guys knew how much time and the, the type of punishment they would get when they did certain things, that's not saying they know they're they know they going to go to jail for doing something stupid. But if you knew how much time it carried, you wouldn't be doing it. So I'm later on in my career, when I get a little opportunity, I wanted to put on some seminars for people to kind of understand, like, what each, you know, 
what what each count carries. You know, if you if you get something for a second degree felony, how much time that is. You know, just knowing that, understanding the law, so that people mm-hmm. will be like, okay, I won't mess. If I do something stupid, I know how to correct myself, or I know not to get that far into it because it gets bad. Like for instance, DWIs. You know, people think I can get a million. It's not like the seventies and eighties where you can get like three thousand DWIs and just walk the streets. Mm-hmm. You get to your third one, you're going to prison. And a lot of people don't know that. You know, they keep doing dumb shit every every year, and nobody's talking to them and explaining it to them. And they, oh, just pick up a book and read. No, but explain it to them because the <laughs> jargon that we use in those books, everybody doesn't understand. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like trying to tell somebody to be a freaking lawyer, like. They didn't go to school for that, so they don't understand the jargon that they're using. So it's up to us to break it down. It's up to the lawyers to break down things to people, you know? The thus, therefore, and whoever, whomever. Dis- yeah, man. Talking <laughs> about Stalin, man. Yeah. On know. the third of this day, I'll be here, my Lord. The 30th of the, <laughs> the it's say the 15th of the, of November yeah. 22. I'll be like, I'm so tired of I'll be reading legal documents all day, bro. I'll be sitting in that motherfucker like, like, for instance, bro, if you knew if, like, people, I, we've had this happen when I was in a pursuit. You know, a dude had some classy warrants. He didn't know that he's not going to go to jail for him due to COVID. He doesn't know this, right? So we, we you know, we finally get to this dude after chasing him a million freaking miles. And this guy, now this guy has earned himself a, a state jail felony, which carries up to, like, what, two years in prison? And a ten thousand dollar fine. You went from a classy warrant that you were only going to get a ticket for because we're not taking the jail for it. Now you're going to jail for a felony. Well, he Damn. probably had some right. shit in the car that was going to give him ten. Yeah, now you're going to get more. <laughs> so I'm like, come on, man. Like, just if we knew what we were doing, we wouldn't do it. I guarantee some of these guests wouldn't do it. They knew how much time they was going to get. It don't. It don't hit them. It don't hit them till that sale close and they sitting there like, damn. Damn, I got 25 years. Look, that's you how said, that's how a BT movie started. Wonder how I got here. You sitting there next to a life <laughs> 60, 64 years and you only got God damn, bro. 10 years. You think you ain't gonna do nothing to you? Oof, that's gosh, yeah, that's God. too much time on your hand <laughs> to do nothing, bro. God damn. I couldn't then, even imagine it, bro. Food is more important than water. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn. Oh yeah. <laughs> Not that. Hey oh, man. Have to be awesome, man. Oh. I, it's a movie that y'all gotta watch, man. Uh, it's called um the Ross. I think I told you the name of it. Um. I hope it's not American me or, or, or no. Nah, it's it's about a dude who goes to jail. It's oh like, yeah, you was telling me that. It's yeah. a regular ass dude. Um, he ends up going to jail for I think DWI. Mm-hmm. And it's mm-hmm. like totally an accident. He only had a couple of drinks, but what happened is it's another car, I believe, that ran the light and he hit him. And mm-hmm. one of the people in his car passed away. And mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. other people. So it's like he went to jail for it. So, long story short, once he got to jail, I mean, you talking about a, a person that never been to jail. He worked a regular office job, had a family, wife, and a kid. Now he's going <clears> to <throat> prison. So he get in prison and now he's like stuck between. You gotta fit in, or you about to get oh, I see taken that over. Uh, uh, shot, shot caller. It's called shot caller. Yeah, shot caller, yeah shot yep. caller. Um, I've seen that movie. I'm talking about, bro. It's it's it. I don't know why it uh, it hit me so much because I'm like, bro. Literally, Regular. one thing could happen. You know, like when it comes to that, you could be in prison, and now it's like you gotta either fucking become the man, which could sometimes get you more time, mm-hmm. or you can get taken advantage of and I mean when they showed this scene what happened to a dude as soon as he got in there these niggas just mm. like gang raped him as soon as he oh, got in man. Oh, you like, know what though you know what though speaking of that you know a lot of people <laughs> there's a lot of people because I don't I didn't work the jail but I know a lot of people that work it, and my dad works works in there right now and you know this thing now is it's not even just those gang rapes anymore yeah. now it's more like they sit a honey bun on your on your bed. And, hey man, you can you know you can have anything. A you honey need. bun? Oh, oh man, yeah, they, like like they, they they oh hey man, I heard you didn't have no money on your books, man. We got you until your until your mama gets you. They say you know, hey man, remember that money I I gave? Or yeah. remember those I gave you? Well, I want I want that times three. Oh, you ain't got it? Okay. Well, you, you know you it's 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 subtle, bro. They are oh I'm your friend. You know, come hang with me. Hey, uh, ain't nobody your friend. Ain't nothing free. 
Go watch 60 Days In. I've been watching that show, you know, just in case yeah, anything ever crazy freak. in life happened, you know, but yeah. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm doing some research on, you know, not, not <laughs> trading commissary, you know. But they, they say, they, my mom used to always say, man, nothing in life is free, man. Facts. There's mm-hmm. a price. <laughs> so you got to pay a price, bro. That's price. Pay, bro. Sugar, these, these little sugar babies be going to these. <laughs> <laughs> it's, all, it's all cool until he ready for some sugar and it's like, I got to. Come here, baby. <laughs> I'm going on fighting, bro. Like I'm big facts. Picking up every bottle cap I can. I'm you better try cap. to kill him, man. You try to take your, you know. Hey, man. Look. Anywho, we're gonna end on that note. Uh, <laughs> again, dope, dope podcast, man. Appreciate y'all for joining, Pence, and We really, really appreciate you, Officer Pence, for joining. Appreciate not only, so. not only joining, but. Being a father, man, handling your child at the same time for the people that yeah. don't know this and just listening, that's, that's honorable. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Appreciate, fathers, you, man, fathers. Appreciate, appreciate you, Appreciate you, Malisha, for standing up that whole time. Yeah, in yeah, the kitchen. Now you see me leaning yeah. over, okay. I'm like, all right now. It got oh, to the end. I, I see you sweating <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Lonnie, right, honey, I got you, bro. I'm about to feed you, man. But Ross got scared. He thought that something was in there. The ice <laughs> yeah, early. <laughs> the ice I know you beat that shit. Then I was like, wait, what? what? The ice maker turned on by itself. Chill out, bro. Stop, bro. It's I, feel, bad, I, I feel like, I feel Chill, like you need some ice right now, fam. No, nah, bro. It's all, dog. I turned that shit off. I turned that shit off. Where you going, Blondie? What you doing? Oh, damn. What she going she gonna protect you, bro. But no. Nah, um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm closing that door quick, nigga. Hopping out that window, nigga. All right, see y'all boys later. You still doing the bed cover thing? The cover's going to protect you from everything? I don't know. I don't do that. I lock the doors, bro. So if somebody getting in this hole, well, we just going to be scrapping. That's all I like to say. <laughs> Blondie, hold him. Now you hold need him. to get you some pow pow. Yeah, that okay. nigga said Blondie. Yeah, go ahead. Get hold you, yeah, get you some. Get you a defense weapon. Get you a sword, man. man. You a sword type hey. of guy, man. <laughs> hey, nigga ain't going to know what to do. See, a you nigga was <laughs> That's gonna fuck them up. I'm like, ready. I'm like, I've been watching the last oh. night, nigga. I'm with it. What's you up? Uh, What's up? I'm about Whoa. to take. I'm about to send you to Valhalla. <laughs> you got damn right. Come on, I'm ready. Nigga, be seen. I will not fail it. my king. My kingdom is my palace. You should oh not enter. This funny. nigga trying to defeat the hunters and shit. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's this right. nigga's to defeat the hunt. Okay, I'm dead. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go watch this shit, bro. The <laughs> hunt. Oh my god, man. That's how you end off the episode. Oh my god. Hey. It is, it is. That's how you end it off right there. Episode 39, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. We love you. All right. <laughs>